Hey guys, Assalamualaikum. Welcome back to another virtual lecture. In today's video, we're going to learn a little bit about government budget. Okay, so what's a government budget? It's basically an annual statement of expenditures and tax revenues of the government together with the laws and regulations. Okay, as you can see here, it serves to finance activities of the federal government and to stabilize the economy. Okay, so there are generally two types of government budget. One is called the budget deficit and the other one budget surplus. A budget deficit is when the government spends more than it earns. In other words, government spending is more than taxation revenues. Okay, so when this happens, how would the government be financing its spending? There are several ways. One way is for the government to borrow by issuing government securities. Okay, so this will basically become our national or public debt. Another alternative is for the government to create money. Okay, so we will learn more about this creating money in the next topic. The second type of government budget is a budget surplus. Now, the budget surplus is when the government's revenues is more than the government spending. See? Government spending is less than taxation revenues. Here, normally when we have this um, surpluses, it, they are usually used to pay back or to reduce the amount of accumulated debts from the past. Now let's try to relate expansionary and contractionary fiscal policy from our previous videos to the budget deficit and budget surplus. Now, say at the very beginning, we have a balanced budget. Okay, remember what's a balanced budget? A balanced budget is basically when government spending is exactly equal to the taxation revenues. Okay, so let's say we start off at this point. And then let's say later on, an expansionary fiscal policy was adopted, maybe because the economy is experiencing recession or high unemployment. Therefore, the government opt for an expansionary fiscal policy. Now, do you remember the tools? What happens or what should the government do when there's uh, a recession? The government should either increase government spending or reduce taxation, right? So in either way or in either case, what happens is you can see here the G would be more than T wouldn't it? Okay, so in other words, this is a budget deficit, right? So I repeat again, if we started off with a balanced budget, and then the government opt for an expansionary fiscal policy, in other words, what happened is, it leads to a budget deficit. Okay. Alternatively, if somehow the economy is experiencing high inflation, so the government will then opt for a contractionary fiscal policy, right? Okay. So what are the tools of a contractionary fiscal policy? The government will either reduce the government spending or increase taxation. So in either way, what happens is you can see that the G is less than T. Okay. So when the government adopt a contractionary fiscal policy, it would lead to a budget surplus. As you can see here, the government has both of these tools to use when there's a problem of either a recession or an inflation, right? So the government can either use the G, government spending, or the T, taxation. So the question is, which of the policy options should the government adopt? Should the government adopt a G or a T approach? Well, it depends on several factors. And it depends on the views on whether the government is either too big or too small. Economists favor higher G okay, during recession compared to a lower T. Okay? Economists also favor to use higher T during problems of inflation compared to lower G. Okay? So these are normally used if they are concerned about unmet social needs and infrastructure. Okay. However, there are others who prefer to use the opposite tools during the problems. Okay. So sometimes they prefer to use a lower T during recession and even a lower G during inflation. So that's normally used when they think the government is too large or inefficient.